welcome to Off the Press, the program where we take a look at our national dailies and try to make sense of it as much as we can. And with me to do so this morning is social commentator Annie Hovi Ayeni. Good to have you here. Thank you. Okay. All right. In spite of the social distancing, you're here. We, we try. <laughs> We're trying to keep it. <laughs> All right. We shall begin with the Guardian newspaper. And it says, Oshiba Joan Shoyinka clash on COVID-19 lockdown. I believe it will be displayed. Thank you very much. Already displayed there. And you can see picture stories of uh, various states there and how deserted some of it is looking already. And shake up as army redeploys senior officers. That story is on the front page. It is continued on page six. Unfortunately, the characters are quite tiny, but it's on the front page there and it's continued on page six. Also, the, f the first story of Oshiba Jo and Shoyinka clashing on COVID-19 is also there on the front page, but it's uh, continued on page six. And vice president says a criticism of presidential order is pointless, according to him. He says it's backed by law. And reps uh, donate two months salaries to fight pandemic. Very noble decision there, I must say. ICPC wants corrupt persons to steer clear of funds, especially during this time. These are more contained inside the Guardian newspaper. And we have uh, some bit of statistics there with uh, the map. Uh, I believe it's a graphic representation of the COVID-19 cases in Nigeria. Uh, we have Lagos at 82, I believe. Uh, we have other states, so 48211 respectively. Um, so basically, uh, government suspends increase in electricity tariffs till July. I think that's a good act there. So let's begin. Um, which one is catching your attention? I, I am inspired by the action of uh, reps donating their two months donating salary. their two months salary. It's a, it's a very noble move that it does make a difference, mm -hmm. and the money is spent in a way in, in their constituents. Mm -hmm. It would be very nice if the money is spent in their constituents in a way that it makes a difference because they, in some places a hundred thousand is a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Some places a hundred thousand is just a drop in the bucket. So that's the part where I believe that in their constituents it will make a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. Let's Go where it matters. Let it go where it matters, where the people will really take it, take it on board. Mm -hmm. And the vice president and mm -hmm. uh, the pro uh, professor mm -hmm. clashing on COVID-19 mm -hmm. lockdown. Just like we said before, lockdown is a necessary lockdown. Mm -hmm. And why the lockdown? The lockdown is because with the COVID-19, it's with the COVID-19 and that is the coronavirus. Yeah. Now, those who are affected by the coronavirus, the virus itself cannot survive by itself. Right. It has to reside in a living being to survive. Mm -hmm. the, the idea of a lockdown is that those ones who are affected, who are being treated, are treated and the virus dies. Mm -hmm. They don't transmit it to anybody it else. It doesn't move any further. They now develop immunity against the virus. Right. And because they have immunity against the virus, the person, the next person, to the who comes to them mm -hmm. who does not have the virus will not contact the virus right. right now in one of the Asian countries they are actually using the blood of survivors mm. to work in the laboratories right. and they are now trying to use plasma transfer and that is blood and they are trying to use that transfer tra the transfer of blood to another person to see how that can help with the healing process mm -hmm. coronavirus is new the effect of the coronavirus is new on people. Mm -hmm. And so the this government, strain this strain, and mm -hmm. there's a difference between what the focus is. Mm -hmm. It's coronavirus. They're locking everybody's down. Then there is also the reality target that government is facing every single day. Right. There is also the fact that people are dying every single day in their hundreds. Right. It's not yet happening in Nigeria, and they don't want it to happen. Mm -hmm. Because they know how frail the structure of the Nigerian infrastructure system is. That is why, I guess, government is taking these measures to make sure that the most important thing for us now is to contain. Mm -hmm. And if contain means everybody stay at home, then everybody stay at home. Mm -hmm. Because loving a friend and kissing a friend and hugging a friend may cause more problems mm -hmm. than what is supposed to. And I mean, you can always do that after COVID-19. After COVID-19. <laughs> there will be loads of hugs. <laughs> there will be hugs. loads of hugs. Loads, I agree loads and loads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you raised a very ba valid uh, point there when you talked about recoveries. Um, I think it's also important to talk about the fact that there are some recoveries. There yes. are major recoveries. Uh, it's not downplaying the effects or the intensity or the seriousness of uh, COVID-19, but because, you know, a lot of people are already psychologically traumatized and, you yes. know, the effects of fears. How, how, I mean, how do we best represent this to say, oh, 
there are recoveries in spite of how critical this situation is. It's from the news. Mm -hmm. It's from the news. Like, for example, you just, you just, uh, you took the time to give the details of what was here. Mm -hmm. Some people could, could just overlook that mm -hmm. and they will not give people those kind of details. Somebody listening to you, and listening to us now, we, we take those details and say, oh, look at some figures here because some people work with figures. Right. I was looking, I was watching the news yesterday and I could see from the literal inscriptions down there, 165,000 people so far have recovered mm -hmm. from the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, in Lagos, we can see that we have we are recording more survivors right. than we have people mm -hmm. who are dying. Mm -hmm. The two people who have died so far, one had an underlying health condition before. Mm -hmm. The second gentleman, I understand he, they were looking for him and they could not reach him. Mm -hmm. And just like I know what it is like to have asthma, if that is what it takes to have coronavirus, it kills and destroys very, very fast mm -hmm. if it is not dealt with. So if there is a if there is a opportunity mm -hmm. to balance the news and let everybody know that people are recovering. People are recovering because what we hear sticks in our minds and then it replays over and over and over mm -hmm. again. I mean, thank you very much for that important insight there. It's good for us to hear that it's not a death sentence. sentence. All right, so we'll proceed now to the nation newspaper. I believe it will be displayed. Thank you very much. Uh, our guys are really on point. Thank you. And it says Nigerian doctor dies in UK. Oh, that's sad. And Quara confirms uh, the I believe that's what it is. That story is on page seven. And palliatives coming for 11 million Nigerians. That story is on page five, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, the characters are quite very tiny. Now, Buhari's action backed by law says Ushibajo and says uh, stay at home order is legal. Right, it's legal. Yeah, that story is, sorry, contained in, pay, on, in page eight. That's the one of palliatives coming for 11 million uh, Nigerians. We also have the federal government and Lagos plan 1,700 daily test capacity. That's some piece of good news also right there. And COVID-19 cases rise to 139, uh, fear as Oshun gets three new cases. And then we have the COVID-19 global cases, uh, figures again, uh, break down for you there. And then we have picture story. I believe it will be displayed. If you move a bit further, you will see a picture story there of Lagos and Abuja roads deserted as lockdown begins. And the federal government shifts electricity tariff hike by three months and new chief for Lafia Dole. Um, the good thing about, I mean, Annie, the good thing about this, um, this piece of uh, this newspaper is the fact that we have some good news. Yes. Uh, it's good to hear that the electricity tariff is you know, suspended. suspended for three months increase. because the argument is if you say people should stay at home, they suck up their fridge and every other the item, there's, there's no light to preserve it. What it do we do? Bad. So, yeah, so let's um, have your reactions. When the federal government says we are going to have uh, clear testing centers, mm -hmm. well, the most important thing is that they should please make this a reality. One of the ways that South Korea was able to get well, uh, flatten, flatten their okay. the indication mm -hmm. for their coronavirus in um, for their coronavirus uh, visual is the fact that they put their scientists to work rather than lock down their citizens. Right. And so, and when people read the news and look at the news, they will say, oh, but this one didn't lock people down, but they did this. But then they had the capacity to do that mm -hmm. before they had the coronavirus. They had had SARS. They had mass. That's and right. be because of that, they made a law in their nation mm -hmm. that your health. Um, your health is premium to your uh, privacy, right. which means that for your privacy, you are going to give up your privacy so that you can have good health. For you to have good health, which means that government has all your information, mm -hmm. all your biodata. What um, South Korea was able to do was they put their scientists to work, to start working very fast to make all the, uh, all the, all the equipment that was needed, mm -hmm. to make the face masks, to make the ventilators. Right. And then they started, they have more than 600 testing centers. So people could walk into the te 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 testing centers mm -hmm. and actually within a few hours get their test results on their mobile phones. Right. Now, if anybody was affected, they were able to track that person from the position where the person arrives mm -hmm. and inform all those who have been around the person. Right and they monitor this. Mm -hmm. Now, in Nigeria, our system is very frail. Right. We don't have the capacity for that robust um, address of this situation. Mm -hmm. If the government says 1,700, mm -hmm. 1,700 that can be visually seen, 
1,700, remembering that even with the COVID-19 that everybody is talking about, mm -hmm. there is also the reality of blood transfer which can transmit HIV AIDS. Right. So there are levels of care and administration that need to come into the fact that 1,500 mm -hmm. to the 700. That is fine. Mm -hmm. What is the administration of it mm. that is going to give people, um, is going to uh, lay their affairs that, yes, this is safe. I will go and get this test so that I will know exactly. Because if there was a, 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 was, there was a place available to test, I will go there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the way you've put it. We, we, we are committed here in Plus TV Africa in giving balanced news, you know. Um, one of the things that we've also, you know, the arguments you hear from different quarters is the fact that why you hear most big names, uh, you know, are the ones coming out and say, oh, tested positive or negative. Is it because of the single fact that they have quick access yes. to test? Now, if you, for instance, put you know make it readily available, we just might have more cases. Yes. So, I mean, I'm agreeing with you to say yes. If we are going to have a thousand and seven hundred daily uh, testing capacity that is active and working, then we are headed in the right in direction. the right direction. And COVID nineteen will soon be out of this place. Honestly, <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a prayer, it's a hope, it's yeah. an assurance. Okay, all right. So, um, I think that's about. Uh, oh, Oh, yeah, so let's talk about the Nigerian doctor uh, who dies in UK. I it's mean, very sad. It's, it's sad because, really again, sad. our health workers are honestly the ones who are on the front lines. Yes. You know, more, more earlier on the news, we had um, a psychologist who was saying, you know, yes, these people are the ones who need, you know, more support yes, at, this, at this time. And um, again, we have heroes, if you ask me. Then. Because, one, they, I mean, the, with the expertise, and everything that he has, as sad as it is to say, mm. the expertise and everything he could bring on board is gone with him. Mm. And we just pray the, the peace of God will rest his soul. Okay. But then there, there would have been there would have been the conditions and everything. But we are glad that in in Nigeria at least we are getting some we are getting some people we are getting some experts into what is happening mm. here. And um, I don't know whether he travelled mm. or he was re uh, was resident yeah, in the UK. There. That is that is really sad. Mm. That is really sad to I hear. agree with you. God rest so as to say. Now let's t take a look at um, you know look at that picture of Lagos and Abuja roads deserted. Who, who would believe that who Lagos and Abuja roads could be so disciplined? Who would believe? You know. that they could be so disciplined. Mm. But then it just shows the effect that really, and I was telling someone, I said there are level, there are there are different there are different categories of people that we have in Lagos State. Right. Now Lagos is a very fast, very I say fast moving train. Mm -hmm. So when they said when this started, I'm sure some people put themselves on immediate quarantine. They were no longer going out. Mm -hmm. And after that, then the government said there was a partial. Another set of people went off the streets of Lagos. Mm -hmm. Then when there was a Lagos state shutdown, which mm -hmm. was not complete, another set of people went off the streets of Lagos. And when the head of state now said, is everybody total? is total. Now we have another set of people that have gone off the streets of Lagos. Another set of people are still on the streets of, mm -hmm. of, of Nigeria, of Lagos and mm -hmm. Abuja. Mm -hmm. So it just shows you the movement of people. You cannot stop people. Completely. You cannot stop people completely. Mm -hmm. Administration, management, governance is a continuous thing. Whether they are doing the right thing today or they are doing the wrong thing tomorrow, I do, my prayer and my hope is that this gives the citizens, the nation, a clear idea, a different mindset on actually what administration, the focus of what administration should be. It's people. And for those people, it is about living and being able to have, uh, to have their livelihood each and every day. Mm -hmm. They want to go to work. They want to go to school. They want to do the things that they are normally supposed to do mm -hmm. so that they can just have a life. All right, thank you. Uh, I think we'll take the last paper now in the interest of time, and it's the Punch newspaper. Lagos, Oshun, FCT may lose 1.6 trillion naira to lockdown. That's according to investigation. Uh, that story is on page 27 of the Punch newspaper, and federal government plans 1,500 tests daily in Oyo Edo, uh, daily rather, Oyo Edo decry kit shortage. Uh, government searching for 500 contacts with infected person uh, cases reach um, 140 and people with COVID-19 symptoms not being tested according to the NMA president, that's the Association for Medical Practitioners I believe. Travelers lament as Lagos and Abuja lockdown begins, Aquara shuts state boundaries to fumigate um,
to fumigate that place, I believe. Zampara Clary claims 56 persons at illegal center, and they are all arrested. That story is on page 11. And Ekiti restriction violators to face prosecution. That's police warning there. We are suspending business in Lagos and Abuja. Uh, well, that's... Uh, According to sex workers on page seven. And hoodlums kill two uh, bogo shops in Oyo. And Oshun names uh, S Governor Adeboe and Oni Alakija uh, food panel members on page 11. Um, which one? So there's something of ICBC once against diversions as COVID 19 pandemic looms and Wycross River denied 35 Americans entry. All of this contained in the Punch newspaper. I think in the interest of time, we'll just take one or two stories. I don't know which one is. Um... People with COVID-19 symptoms not being tested. Mm. And this is the National Association of Medical Practitioners. Mm -hmm. I think it's time that everybody steps up to the plate. Mm -hmm. It's not about game. Um, it's not about blame game. Right. It's not about passing the buck. And for the Medical Association, no, nothing medical comes happens in this country without it going through them. Okay, they are not being tested. What can you do to make them get tested mm -hmm. so they are not being tested is it is it do you have a medical do you have a medical system that can stabilize them mm -hmm. do you have a medical system that can actually test them mm -hmm. what can you do what can you contribute to give to the government and say oh governor sir this is the number of people that are this is happening to mm -hmm. this is what we can do about it this is what we've done so far but we need more of these test kits mm -hmm. these are doctors these are medical doctors they know how to get experts in when patients come with big cases Let's do what is needful at this time. Mm -hmm. Everybody, step up. Take responsibility. Somebody is not being tested. What can you do to help? Help. Mm -hmm. Sustain. The Sustain story. the person. Mm -hmm. Help the person. Stabilize the person. It's not the government to do everything. It's not one person. These are human beings that mm -hmm. wake up and go to sleep, mm -hmm. just like you and I. And some they of get them tired. Can be overwhelmed. I was just about to say that some <laughs> of them can be overwhelmed. Yes. It's not. I mean. Ideally, nobody would want anyone to die or pass away, yes. but they could also be overwhelmed. So yes. there's a bit of collective responsibility there. Yeah. I agree with you. And um, we should take one more story, I, and, and then we we'll probably will call it a day. Um, La Travelers lament as Lagos Abuja lockdown begins. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the, the, like we said, life has become so, uh, life is lived on a fast lane. And the, time, the fact that people have planned that I intend to travel to Abuja at this time, mm -hmm. I intend to go to Lagos at this time, it's not yet out of their mind mm -hmm. that whether you plan to go to Abuja or you plan to go to Lagos, whatever it is you want to go and do there is not happening. Yeah, you can't do you it. You can't do it. You cannot have that meeting. Mm -hmm. I understand about family members. Talk to them all the time. Mm -hmm. This is what the, 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 the essence of the lockdown. The, the value of the lockdown mm -hmm. is more than the value of your travel. Right. If you get into trouble, if you get infected or affected, if, you, if anything happens to you, your family, the meeting, mm -hmm. your anxiety means nothing. That's right. It's only the living that can tell tales. Mm -hmm. Dead men tell no tales. That's right. Thank you so very much, Annie Hovey. And that, that's what we're going to call it, a wrap up here on Off the Press. We will continue this uh, tomorrow, the same time, 8.30 uh, here on Plus TV Africa. And we are saying, please stay safe until this is over. Have a great day ahead of you.